All right, everybody. Today, dubious ones, we have some wonderful breaking news in regards to Fight Forever. I don't normally do videos like this, but I thought today was an important one. Um, for those who watched the stream today, we made some amazing progress down from number 24 overall. We've climbed up to number 16 overall. And the reason I'm showing the, this to you at the start of the breaking news video is because the reason I did so well was because there were so few quitters playing. And why was I playing against so few quitters today? Well, apparently those folks over at AEW Fight Forever listen to feedback. So here you go. Number one, this was posted on Reddit today. Everyone. Punishment for, let's enlarge that for everybody. Punishment for rage quitters explained. Disconnecting manually before an online rank match is over in an attempt to avoid losing player rank points to clear up any confusion on how the ranked mode system works in online play. If a player disconnects during a match, their opponent will receive the win along with the corresponding ranking points. While the disconnecting player does not receive a loss and lose points immediately, they will be matched with other players disconnecting at a similar rate. Once players disconnect repeatedly in a single day, player rank points will be deducted. You can see all the love that Reddit post got today. Amazing news. So today I had a wonderful experience playing rank. I did have a, I played a lot of the same players, was thinking it was more a lower, low population kind of issue. No, it is because all the players that I was playing that were quitting all the time, I'm no longer finding, I'm no longer matching against them. So they can enjoy their second place pool. I'm sure there will be a participation medal and participation trophies awarded to everyone in the playlist. But this makes me so happy. Does it remove an entire rank for quitting a match like the severity I wanted? No. But knowing that I don't have to play these players anymore makes me feel so good. I got so much hate mail from a guy who messaged me after I beat him and he quit. And he was so angry. Oh, you're spamming this and that after he decided to roll out repeatedly out of the ring and just not wrestle a match. So I just spammed him outside with nonsense and beat him and went inside and he quit before the 10 count. Shocking. Did I match him one more time after that? I did not for the rest of the session. So I wished him luck and sent him a screenshot of this and said, enjoy the second place pool. He says he doesn't normally quit. I said, well, enjoy that second place pool now that you're in it. I'm sure they'll be handing out participation trophies to all of you. So. This is a massive step in the right direction, but not even close to the breaking news for today that has the potential to turn AEW Fight Forever into the greatest wrestling game of all time. Now, if you have not been following Ziddy, he is the global senior CM community manager for THQ Nordic, and he has been tweeting some hot fire lately. This tweet in particular. Let's take a look. I've already shown this on the Discord and to you guys as well, the AEW Fight Forever community. This is what I'm working on. This is what we're going to be looking at. All your feedback in one place. They are listening, you guys. They are listening. We definitely want to shout out to Unsanctioned TV because he sent out a massive tweet thread that um, we should actually probably look at. Let's go off of the window for that, and I will find that for you on the side while we go through this. But it's amazing to hear a community. They are listening to us. So to show you the big breaking news, this is the spreadsheet they're working on. These are the potential changes and updates and patches we could be seeing over time for AEW Fight Forever. I'm just going to look up my buddy right here to give him a shout out because they have a great channel as well. And I don't want TTV. And maybe if I just go into my own Twitter, I can just go search. 
unsanctioned and there we go so these guys if you don't follow them on YouTube go check them out unsanctioned TV big shout out to these boys on Twitter at unsanctioned TV these guys originally posted a feedback thread for AEW fight forever and I want to find it where we've gone too far we've gone too far because this got the attention of the devs as well as one person in particular this was the original tweet on July 2nd having fun on AEW fight forever but it needs a lot of work I want to see this be an official feedback thread if you have played are currently playing please comment down below cities ukes AEW ukes official blah 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 everybody else Kenny Omega Man guess what Kenny Omega Man replied as someone who plays a ton of fighting games and FPS I'll always encourage fixes and rebalancing when situations like these turn up there will be continued support for the game so all this feedback and suggestions are great thank you no no Kenny Mr. Omega here no thank you that for a small channel like unsanctioned it's got about a thousand followers on YouTube I haven't checked lately I obviously subscribe to them on YouTube good man a wonderful part of the wrestling game community whether we see eye to eye on every point and every pros and cons of every wrestling game for the most part we do because we are passionate about passionate about online play for these wrestling games um, but huge shout out to them because this got the ball rolling and people left their feedback in droves but what we're getting to here is from all that feedback this is officially from the community manager for THQ Nordic about this game this is what they have compiled from our feedback and what they're listening to and this is stating all the things that could potentially come to this game and we're going to go over all of it so we are looking at the number one thing that people most want here is an expanded CAW create a wrestler more pieces import export system 137 that's it I think it's a way more huge amount of the community but again this is just people leaving feedback on Twitter and he is cataloging everything we want to complete AEW roster 35 people six player matches 52 more global brutal options or sorry more gore slash brutal options such as bleed without sharp objects no fading so I guess on the mat no fading blood there 20 people make replays optional 15 run in in matches make reversal effects optional improve the system make weapon fading optional crossplay can't believe that's only 32 we need crossplay in this game oh my goodness it's 2023 nobody plays on steam or i would have it because all the mods on steam look incredible if you have not sought out the modding community for this game if you have not seen some of the amazing mods that some of these guys are making they're making hell in a cells they're putting inferno matches in the hell in a cell in an exploding barbed wire match they are putting perfect like just porting over your Roman Reigns, your Bloodline, your Brock Lesnar's to your whatever else you want in the game. Perfect AJ Styles, whatever you want. They are doing amazing work for this community. And if you haven't checked them out, search out hashtag AEW mod forever on Twitter or just, you know, look up just AEW mods. And I'm sure you will find these guys. They are all over my Twitter. Crossplay, removal of EGS. Don't know what EGS stands for personally. Expanded Road to Elite for more years. Expanded Create an Arena. Eliminator Championship Tournaments. GM Universe Mode. Wow, so many people want a GM mode. It's crazy. Universe. I can understand Universe Mode. Improve Reversal System. I mean, the Reversal System isn't terrible, but it feels like it's very random at times. Whether it's your Spirit Meter or maybe your connections online, I don't know. But some matches, it's super easy to reverse everything, and I can reverse some signatures and finishers. Other matches, I can't reverse anything. Um, a reset option for win-loss records. Cool. 
Um, I'm ho assuming that's offline only, not like ranked or uh, in casual. Casual's already doing that by accident. Like I've had my re rank or not my like record in casual reset so many times. I don't know what's causing it. Um, New Japan Pro Wrestling DLC. More storylines for Ring of Honor. Main stories, ROH DLC. Steel Cage matches. Trios matches. Seasonal as well as real life content events. Harder difficulty and road to elite. More title trio, more titles, trios, international, pinnacle, inner circle, etc. etc. What pinnacle and inner circle aren't championships. I'm confused. Expanded, accurate, longer entrances and theme music. Harsh punishment for rage quitters and online rating for sportsmanship. I don't care about the online rating for sportsmanship because if you lose, chances are in ranked and you're in a higher rank, you're going to just rate them low anyways. It doesn't matter. They beat you and maybe they spam some move you don't like or they used a character you don't like. No, I don't know. Who cares about that? Punishment for rage quitters for quitting an online match. Yeah, just take away a lot of their rank points or like an entire rank. I don't care. Just, yeah, harsh punishment for rage quitters for sure. Weapons need more than two hits before break breaking. Perhaps RNG. I mean, spamming weapon hits can be problematic because it is hard to reverse some of them. I don't know. I'm fine with the two hit breaking. I'm kind of lukewarm on this. I mean, it's it is what it is. Whatever. Maybe at least drop it um, and have like a like maybe a cooldown or something like before you can just pick it up again and hit them again. I don't know. Uh, dog collar match definitely would be amazing. Would fit AEW has had many many amazing dog collar matches as well as ROH of course with the Briscoes and FTR, um, CM Punk and MJF. For me, feud of all of AEW, best feud ever, AEW ever did was that dog collar match. Come at me in the comments if you disagree and think Hangman and Omega was better. Um, more match options to turn DQ, rope break, countouts, weapons on and off. Cool. Tornado matches, tor tag team tornado. Yes, this, why is that not just a thing? Why is that not already a thing? Uh, I think it's in Road to Elite. I'm um, like at least handicap matches and stuff like that are so like what like why not? How is that like the stuff's in there? Ladder matches, multi man ladder matches, same thing in Road to Elite. What's going on? Why is that not already there? Harder, longer matches, TV slash pay per view. I'm guessing that's again for Road to Elite. Um, separate cues for create a wrestler online, especially ranked. Good old twenty six players. Uh, Really upset getting their ass handed them by those who maybe watch some of my videos because I have had some of you feedback and I've even played some of you online who've watched my videos on how to build your car through Road to Elite to at least get to a Kenny Omega level of, of creator wrestler, but where you pick your own abilities. You pick what you want. You get to have all, all the overpowered stuff. Don't hate the content creator. Hate the game. It's the mechanics. You want balancing in the mechanics. Not so much just segregation, even more so in the player populations online, especially before we get cross-play. But, just my opinion as someone who always uses his call and ranked, and if I'm playing casual, yeah, I'll just use roster members to get to get to know the, um, the different roster members online. But to each their own. I like creating my own character. My daughter likes creating her own character. She likes using her character in the game. Um, she'll use some roster members that look cool, like she likes Chris Dantlander too, but, you know... The creativity has always been a, uh, you know, a favorite part of my um, part of wrestling games, right? And regardless of the, you know, create a wrestler, the way you can make them look and how you can edit them and it, how piss poor and bare bones that create a wrestler is, the amount of change, the amount of differences you can do in in the like um, character of like the the create a wrestler just based on the different abilities and um, stats and stuff in the game you can really make unique characters like having that hands in the pocket ability just stuff like that just makes it really really unique so they have a really lot of extensive unique features and a lot of vast array of moves obviously we always want more um, but the creative wrestler is pretty good outside of how you can make them look how you can make them look is the most bare bones creative wrestler we've seen in a wrestling game in 20 years i mean it's terrible when it, who like everybody wants better than that anyways where were we here? So we're looking at separate or uh, improved pinning and submitting system. Mm. I mean, it is what it is. It's like a no mercy style, so I'm kind of fine with it. If you could like inch your way to the to the ropes by mashing the buttons, that would make more sense. 
Like if you can make your way to the ropes and stuff while you're in a submission, because I think you could do that in, in the Aki games anyways. So I think that would make sense. Um, backstage areas, back, and, and also being able to pin out of a, a kick out of a signature, signature or a special, like at least one of them, it would be cool because it, it's really hard to kick out of uh, signatures and finishers, especially if you're spamming a couple of signatures, then it's, it's pretty much all over. Um, but improved pinning and submitting system, backstage areas, backstage from ringside in some matches. So yeah, like No Mercy, be able to go backstage. Like, yeah. Um, what, what? WWE 2K19, like just, you know, you, these guys have done it before. It's not like this is a new thing. That should be in. Uh, make our own match types with lots of options. Again, should already be in there. We should be able to turn on and off like tags. Like you should, a tag match should have the option to be a ladder match. A tag match should have the option to be a tornado tag. A tag match should have the option to be like whatever you want. It just, it's so weird that we have such restrictive options as far as match types. So I, I definitely am all for that. Um, Road to Elite NG+, Plus. not sure what that means. Controlling AI teammates in tag team matches when you tag them in. Gauntlet match mode, which is already in Road to Elite, so again, don't know why it's not available in the game. There's even some mini games I played in Road to Elite that I'm unable to play in my regular playthroughs. And I've, like, beaten those in my playthrough of Road to Elite, and... One, and yet they're still not available to play with my daughter when we're just playing offline together. It's really weird that there's missing um, party games that, you know, it's just so weird that there's stuff, so much stuff in Road to Elite that you can't play outside of it. It's weird. Expanded customizations for AEW wrestlers, factions, shirts. Well, we just need expanded create a wrestler, period. And customization for the in-game wrestlers, period. The fact that you can't change the color of all the attires at the bare minimum, like change them to every part of the colors, you know what I mean? So like you could in No Mercy in the AKI games. It's just so weird you can't do that. It's just crazy. Um, add a random ref option for more unique refs. Okay. Roadmap for future updates and DLC. I mean, this right here is a beautiful roadmap for things that they're at least now talking about. And that is the most important thing. We need to voice to them. What do we want? Like, comment, especially down below. Comment the top five out of this huge list. The top five things you would like to see implemented into AEW Fight Forever to make it a better game, to give it longevity, to make it the greatest wrestling game of all time. We want this game to be the GOAT. And if they implement these changes, even a portion of them, it has great potential to do so because the engine is there. It is so much fun to play. Um, controlling AI teammates and tag when you tag them in. Uh, we already went through that. Expanded customizations. Did that add a ref? Okay, we sorry, we've uh, strayed a little bit. More save slots for Road to Elite. Definitely. Share community creations. Definitely. Community creations. Period. Uploading images. Period. Expand create a wrestler. Period. <laughs> Commentary that can be turned on and off. Eh, don't care. Stadium Stampede, free game mode for to get more people playing. I mean, I don't know. Do you, you want to like have an AEW demo that allows them to play Stadium Stampede and nothing else for free or something? Like, I don't understand because I'm assuming it's free to all players who own the game coming. I mean, it better be. It's it's a huge mode. It better be free to all players who own the game. Um, so hopefully that's the case. Accessibility options. Uh, extend post-match times to 30 to 45 seconds. We definitely do not need that for online. It's already long enough with the 15 seconds. We do not need this because you cannot, if you are the player who lost the match, or who are getting their butt kicked by the other guy with their finishers, unlimited finishers the whole time. Yeah, you don't want to sit there for 30, 45 seconds just watching them basically teabag you, just posing over and over, like giving you the, the, the two words for you and like give you the finger, whatever, whatever like... No, you don't need 45 seconds of that. No, thank you. Uh, offline only, fine. Don't care. Quick match option that cues you for everything. To find the fastest match, 13 people, this was my suggestion. This was my biggest suggestion. Obviously, there are things like expand, create a wrestler. Obviously, there are things like cross-play, penalizing ranked players, you know, dealing, just general tuning to the abilities and the things that are just overpowered and, and, and such. But this was also one of my biggest things was being able to find a match. 
quickly, especially without crossplay, there should be a quick match option that if you click quick match because you can't find a ranked or casual barbed wire death match or ladder match or a four away match, if you click quick match, it can randomly throw you in to a, you know, the battle royal or to a ladder match or whatever someone's searching for. Quick match will at least try and fill whatever lobbies are trying to be filled. That would make a huge difference. And with crossplay coming in, if it does come in, it'll still be super helpful to fill matches that aren't a regular one on one match. Best of series. People create their own. Best of three, best of seven, best of 21. Okay, interesting. 14. More people want that than a quick match feature for online. Boy, our priorities, people, in this game. What gives a wrestling game longevity? A community online. And then obviously community creations and the cre creation stuff. But what gives these games? What's going to make this game still relevant in a year from now? Online matches have to be easily and accessible. Anyways, tournaments for online hosted by THQ and AEW. That would be so cool. So cool. How many? Six people only? Yeah, I mean, I didn't hear anything about that. That would be amazing. Forbidden Door, Road to Elite, DLC. That would be awesome. Rematch option, Road to Elite, don't care. Preset, save slots, and options for already existing wrestlers in FTR. Sure. Improved tutorial, practice mode. I don't care about the tutorial. Practice mode. You need to be have like a Street Fighter 5 or 6 level of tutorial where you can say, have the computer opponent try and hit his finisher or signature on me and you should be able to pick who you're practicing against. And well, I think you already can, but for practice mode. But have them be able to set, I want him trying to hit his finisher over and over. So you can practice trying to reverse finishers. Um... Anti-airs, like you should be able to tell them, always just keep going to the top rope and trying to do a move to me or do a springboard or do a tope. And you can keep practicing your anti-airs. You should be able to do that stuff. That would be super, super helpful for people being able to practice their reversals. It's, you know, the way it's set now, it's not super easy. Like you, it's trial by fire, you know, a lot of it. I, I, I've been learning my reversal timing just playing online. Um, ability to attack the ref, whatever, stadium stampede in offline mode slash match versus the AI. I think that's already coming, but definitely should be able to play it in offline mode as well. Uh, more alternatives to use cash. You can buy everything and still have 200k plus. Yes, I mean, I have over a million AEW dollars. I, you know what I mean? Like, I played through Road to Elite lots and play the game lots, so I have tons of cash. So, sure. Don't really care though. Lobbies, multiplayer system. Yes, have lobbies so we can see what lobbies need to be filled, how many people are looking. If there's three of four people in, especially for like if you're doing a stadium stampede, I sure hope you don't need all 30 people queued in at once. Like you can do it with 20 people and maybe fill the rest with AI or 10 people or whatever. Because if you're constantly waiting for that to fill, God, that mode could be dead in a month. Um, but if you do it otherwise, like, it could have really good longevity and really build, like, make this game something different. Um, respect CAW creations by use of currency. Don't understand that. Like, oh, give, like, respect to certain creations that are uploaded to community creations. I don't know how that works. As far as I've always known, like, I don't know if mods that people do, like, if it's cross-play community creations... I don't know if you can like get those PC mods properly on your like console anyways to look the way they do in the mods. Maybe you can. Um, there have been, always been some incredible looking community creations in the WWE games for the last forever, like 10 years. But yeah, community creations, just whatever it is, we just need it. Um, native mod support for PC. That'd be, I'm sure, I mean, the modders are already doing incredible work. Do they need this? If they do, hopefully they get it because they're already doing incredible stuff. Search it out. Limited bailout. Yes, this is another one of the number one things I've been talking about. Only eight people. Jesus. People, you've not been playing online if you've not, at least in the rank modes, if you've not been watching people spam. The bailout ability, it is annoying. It is the worst. And it forces you to put on moves you don't even want to have on your wrestler. 
to combat it when they do bail out and you just have to fight them outside constantly. Um, health recovery, sure. Weapon finishers, yes, more weapon finishers. I think I even suggested that on me and be only one of two. Because I did my video on all the beautiful Van Daminator variations and chair finishers, over 80 different chair finishers. But we have that, we have the barbed wire bat, we have a ladder chair or a ladder finisher, and we have like the exploding barbed wire bat and what's in the table, setting it on fire. That's pretty much it for weapon finishers. Why isn't there like a white Russian leg sweep with the single or with a kendo stick? Why isn't there I don't know, like more variations on the chair finisher to like do just a regular DDT or other like a pile driver, whatever. I don't know. They definitely more weapon finishes. Always a good thing. I want to be able to do a Van Terminator in a wrestling game. Probably going to have to wait till Ultra Pro Wrestling comes out for that one. But that's all right. FTR locked in and saved as a team and not just a single. Yeah, it's weird that you have to make them a team yourself and set the, set the finishers and the entrance. Like, so weird. So weird some of the stuff you have to do. Like, it make, doesn't make a lick of sense. And especially imagine all the, like, tag teams that have to come to this game. Like, the Acclaim, the Guns, and everything else and like having to like make them a team one by one yourself with their themes and their everything else and their interests it's too much this, this should be already done it should just as soon as you download them it should be there spectate mode for online matches would be cool for tournaments drag weight limit skill for dragging wrestlers around yes being able to drag wrestlers around like unlimited and the, not being able to reverse it or get out of it or whatever is or it takes so long before you can it's just ridiculous just that kind of stuff that's just basic bug testing, man. Like stuff that community finds right away. That definitely in one person. Like it's that is a problem. Um, cross progression, cross purchases for all platforms. This would encourage me to get it for Steam right here. Have all my save stuff, cross per, like progression, and everything else, and have my FTR and everything on Steam. That would be great. I definitely, yes, yes, please. Create a taunt feature. Don't care. Create a finisher. Causes so many problems. Don't care. Don't want it. Just more moves, please. Just give us more moves. Creative finisher is always janky. Usually causes some sort of bugs, especially for online. Don't want it. Don't want it at least online. Offline, fine. Uh, create a belt. Sure. Yeah. Always good. Don't really care, but I mean, more more creative options, the better. Add crossover characters from other franchises. Sure. We already have Cody Rhodes. Like, what else do you want? <laughs> Honestly, that's like the hugest forbidden door ever. Uh, improved party voice control system, mute push stock volume. Yeah, I mean, I had issues in my stream today, but that was because they were able to join my party because it was an invite only, and there was some... Anyways, that's separate issues. Sure, whatever. Improvement to UI is always good. War games, blood and guts. Sure, if we can get even to six men into the ring at the same time and still run it on the Switch, we'll see. Um, or maybe the Switch will have to get left out of certain things if we have stuff like this put in. Um, or just, you know, I'm always happy. Give us a cage with a roof that we can climb on top of during the match and put people through it, like be able to do moves and like fight them on top of it and eventually put them through the cage or the cell or whatever you want to call it, war games. Because if you're not giving us that, then who cares? You might as well just have a cage match. If I can't go outside and I can't climb to the top and I can't put them through the cage, it doesn't matter. It's, uh, if you can, yes, all for it. Um, viewable, viewable videos outside of Road to Elite that you can unlock on Road to Elite. Eh, whatever. TNT belt. We, what? We already have the TNT belt. That's a weird one. Um, collision Arena. I mean, we're missing some belts, but whatever. Um, collision Arena. Yeah, sure. Ex well, I'm sure we'll get this anyways. Expanded tag team matches, finishers. Okay, great. Why not? The more moves, the better. More matches, the better. Handicap tag. Yes, that's already in road to elite don't know why we can't do it shoes button low and controller layout on pc apparently we can't already do that that's so weird you can do that on console that's such a strange thing if you can't change it i changed my run button to the left trigger and my action button to the b button that's how i like to play it that's what i the only thing i changed but it's weird that you can't do that on pc apparently endless road to elite mode sure i mean why not it's fun, it's branching paths. I mean, it's just it's fun mode to play. It's, I mean, it's, the, it's really just a create a wrestler builder, though. I've seen it. It's just, it's just to build your create a wrestler, give them the best stats and abilities you can, and get used to the mechanics of the game. Like, it's, it's a good introduction. I, I don't really care for Endless Road to Elite, whatever. Sure. 
But I mean, then they would have to do something about the cause because then all the creative wrestlers would be able to just keep boosting their stats endlessly, right? Unless you'd have to lock it after the first year and like, this is your car now. And then you just can continue to play through, but you can't build your car anymore. That would maybe be a solution. Uh, make Elite even harder, perhaps a hardcore mode. Yes, the AI sucks. Elite difficulty is not hard. If you play Road to Elite on the Elite difficulty and you are using a created wrestler, it is you still get to pick your moves, even if you don't have springboards, don't have a lot of them, you're slow, everything else. It's still really easy to win that Battle Royal on Elite difficulty. The computer leaves you alone when you're on the ground. They never try and eliminate you if they knock you down with a finisher. It doesn't make any sense. Great for progressing through the story and maxing out everything, but the AI sucks on Elite Difficulty. They are not hard at all. You can spam strikes. You can spam everything. It's just it's not hard. Just, you, just a couple of moves. Literally, just spam your strikes. My daughter, at nine years old, no problem with the Elite Difficulty. Just mashing buttons the whole time, right? And, and it's not hard. Um, VR... Yeah, right. That's never going to happen. But sure. Banana elephant boxers for Kenny Omega. He said he mentioned that in the prior tweet. There's one guy that wanted that. Now there's two people. Amazing. Mini games online. Only one person. Less people. More people want banana elephant boxers for Kenny Omega than are asking for mini games online. Apparently THQ man. That would be awesome. ROH DLC full length match replay don't need that unless i'm like able to create some sort of entrance video for my character even then eh, it's wasted resources in my opinion but sure aew wrestlers in road to elite well we already have that so maybe they mean more maybe they mean dlc um triple a dlc sure impact dlc iron man match type create a card slash show better improved Running system. Yes, yes, and more. Yes. We need a better running system where I'm not running in a straight line and I can control where I'm running in what direction by using my thumbstick. It's so weird that you can't do that, especially when people are running away online. More options as champion of title, belts, champion entrances, road to elite. Yeah, there's no champion entrances in road to elite like for you when you're the champion. That's It is kind of a thing. Um, but whatever guard break. I mean, it's busted. It's like, and like many abilities in this game, pretty or skills, very strong, but one guy was concerned about guard break rampage dynamite. Don't know what that means. Evil Uno. Yes. Jamie hater. Yes. Librarians DLC. Don't care. The initiative DLC. Don't care. Custom music for entrances. Indication of down day status. Way to speed things up. Wow. So now they're literally just writing down everything people are saying because these things, half of them don't even make sense. I understand people want to know when they're going to get up dazed or not. But, I mean, you kind of just learn that by playing long enough, I think. Because I've kind of figured it out online, like when the guy's going to be dazed when I pull him up and when he's not. I mean, I still screwed up from time to time. But I don't know. I think you just learn that by playing. More rope stage climbing options, sure. Texas Deathmatch, sure. Custom texture uploads for Creator Wrestler. Yes, expand the Creator Wrestler in any in every way, shape, or possible, please. More realistic tables. Yeah, like how about just ones that just don't fall over? One guy, pretty sure you just didn't want them falling over when you walk into it after you've set it up and it's on, or you wasted a, a special <laughs> setting it on fire. And then somebody just walks by it and brushes by it and it folds. Why is that a thing? That should never be a thing. Owen Cup. Okay, that'd be cool. Better end screen after a CPU. Don't care. Bryce Remsburg Ref. Don't really care. Allow to pick AI team members in team matches when you are down and out. Guess that's a problem in tag team matches. Sure, why not? Like the right thumbstick mate or no I guess that's used for stuff I don't know press the back button or the home button I don't I don't know figure it out it's I'm indifferent about that one custom music for background I guess that would be PC only but then you could just play your music in the background so I don't know it's kind of this was more of like a 2000 
five through ten thing, and we did kind of have custom music for entrances and everything back then on the old, like, Xboxes and stuff and the 360s. Um, but nowadays, you're not really putting music on your consoles, so I don't know. It's just, like, for PC, it's just really... Sure, whatever. I mean, I guess they have it in Fire Pro. Um, improve AI for team matches, three and four ways specifically, or especially, sure. Promo battles for Road to Elite, depending on personality. Eh, don't care. More ladder weapon options to toggle on and off. I mean, just being able to pull out a ladder if it's not your favorite weapon. On a creator wrestler, just being able to pull out a ladder, say if you had a signature or something as one of the weapons that would come out, or even just medium spirit, like, I don't know, like tables come out at high spirit, why can't ladders too? I don't know. Better options for organizing and assigning moves. Sure. Create a move, create a tag move. Mm, creating a move always turns into a glitchy mess online and people find a way to hack and just break the game. So I, 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 I'm super hesitant to create a move just because of like WW12, 13, 14, like all those games, they just, ugh. whenever it was in, it was just, it always caused issues. So super hesitant to that. Keep it offline only if you're going to do it. Um, but then that might ruin, take away people's finishers. So I don't know. I, I, I just, no, I don't want it. Streamer option against copyrighted music. Yes, please. That would be helpful. Just click a button. Thank you. More female representation. I mean, of course, we need more roster members. Emi Sakura, Maki Ito. Option to skip Road to Elite if you've completed it with one or more creator wrestlers. Well, I mean, I think that means you'd have to be able to edit your stats that you pick. But then if you can do that, you just max out, get as many points as possible, and then the end at the end you just fine-tune it even more hardcore than I've already showed you how to do in my last video. So, I don't know. I think, because you're already talking about some really overpowered creative wrestlers. Even if they don't have the stat split of a Kenny Omega, they still have better, you can have better abilities and skills. And, like, all the cheap ones, right? That's why they need to do a balance pass for abilities and skills. Because some of them are too strong. Same thing with certain weapon or uh, move spam online. Like the meta and the higher levels is very defined. Like the leg sweep online, just spamming that leg sweep, whether you're Alistair Black or a creative wrestler or whatever, it's nonsense. It's annoying. Reversing it needs to do more than just stepping back and them just being able to keep spamming it. Like that needs to make them dazed when you reverse it, or go or reverse it into a dragon screw or something. Um, same thing with Kenny's Dragon Screw or Dragon Snapdragon Suplex that can stand him up again and you can spam that in your signature. Just BS like that. Like the, the spammy stuff has to has to be dealt with. Make it just way easier to reverse or something. Something needs to be done about that. I mean, this leg sweep, easy reversing means nothing. It's just, you literally need to change how you reverse it so that they take damage and you're on the offensive after you reverse it as opposed to it's still their turn. Like, it's like a frame trap. Like, if you play Street Fighter in fighting games, it's like, it's still their turn. You know what I mean? It's, it's whatever you call that, negative on block or whatever. Like, it's just, it's there. You they, you can't do anything against it. It's, it's annoying. Uh, console modding. I'm assuming this means being able to do mods like you can on Steam, um, on console. Don't know what would be required in that, but someone wants it. Lights out match. Lights out. I don't know. We already have that. Ultra wide support. Multi-man matches online. I, th I could have sworn we already had some of this, but sure, definitely need more of it. Anything more online is better. Fighting in the crowd, sure, that'd be great. Bullet Club, Club Gold logo for Creator Wrestler. Full stables. Special abilities to refs and managers. So weird. Sunny Kiss. Legit Layla Hirsch. Aztec Warfare Rules. One, 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 one. So, the popular stuff. We want Create a Card Show Mode. Wow, don't really care about that full length replays. The things that are popular, are so weird. War games, blood and guts, I can understand and appreciate that. Native mod support for PC. I mean the modders are doing great work, so but cool if that's popular. Lobby multiplayer system. I'm surprised that's not getting more. 16 Forbidden Door Road to Elite DLC. We're probably getting that anyways. Road to Elite the DLC for Forbidden Door, though that would be cool. Um 14 for a best of series, really. Um, 13 for a quick match option that allows you to find the faster match. That one is one of my biggest things that I've suggested. Only 13. 27, accessibility options. Wow, people really don't like the button mashing, eh? Sucks to suck. 
<laughs> I understand for those who actually have accessibility options, but so many people cry about it. Oh, accessibility, accessibility, because they just, you know what I mean? They're just not about it, and they're just like, I want to time things. I want you to hold my hand. For anybody who has accessibility options, there should be stuff for you. I, I can understand that. But there's so many people that hide behind the guise of accessibility, and it's just for them to make lives make life easier for them. But teach their own. I'm fine with button mashing personally. But I can understand for those who can't do it. Roadmap for future updates and DLC. Yep, we want to see that. This is a big one. Expanded customization for AEW wrestlers. Faction shirts. Well, I don't. Faction shirts, who cares? The first part, yes. Uh, 12 people on add random ref options for more unique refs. Maybe just one that counts faster than Aubrey. I don't know. But I mean, sometimes that helps you, right? Um, gauntlet match mode. Again, already in Road to Elite. Don't know why it's not in the base game. Our RTE, NG+. Plus. Don't know what that means. 37. Make your own match types with lots of options. Yes. Backstage areas. Yes. Improved pinning submission system. I don't mind it the way it is. They just may need to maybe make it a little easier to kick out of one finisher. But, I don't know. 26 for separate cues for create a wrestler online, especially ranked. Oh my god, all the babies crying. Because you could abuse the ability spam. All you need to do is an ability tuning pass to make it so there's not so many broken abilities. There's still really strong in-game wrestlers that can you can abuse a lot of the current systems. But yeah, I can appreciate so many people don't want to take the time, aren't watching my video that I put up the other day on how to build your god tier ka. If they watch that, maybe they wouldn't have such a problem with it, but a lot of people aren't willing to put in that kind of time. Harder, longer matches. So we got, okay, the top stuff it seems to be was for a bit there ladder match tornado multi-man that stuff's good dog collar match love to see that that's getting love harsh punishment for rage quitters and online yeah that's glad to see that's getting a lot of love expanded who cares about longer entrances if you can skip them as long as you can skip them online that's fine because you can't right now so the short entrances are perfect trios matches 39 47 who cares about a steel cage match guys i mean it should be there by it should just be there, but like, how often do you play a steel cage match? If it doesn't have a roof on it, if it's not a Hell in a Cell, who cares? Uh, more storylines like ROH, and what was the 36 one? New Japan DLC. Improve the reversal system, GM Universe. So you got the idea here. Expand RT for more years. I'm just looking at the popular ones here. Crossplay, perfect. Glad that's one of the top ones. Run-ins and matches, who cares? More gore. Interesting, so many people want that. Like replays, optional. Six-player matches. Surprise, that's so high up there. Expanded CAW, of course, important to see. So, complete AEW roster, great. Okay, if you're still reading this, I'm manually updating it, so please make sure to respond and tweet and retweet it. Napping, continue feedback will be added when awake. Total votes, boom. Total people, boom. So, what you want to do is, first, comment down below your top five things you want to see out of this list come to AEW sooner rather than later. Then, you want to go on to Twitter. You want to go to the man at Ziddies, Z-Y-D-D-I-E-S. You want to find this tweet. You want to write down below all your feedback in one place. Share the top three features you would like retweet share quote let's show everyone what you want so i've already quoted it i don't see myself down here but that's okay i'm glad to see there's lots of feedback coming in here but let your voice be heard i am so thrilled to hear from in the wgc is being heard for a wrestling game because this has the potential to be the best wrestling game of all time. If just some, even 10, how many are there? Even if 10 out of 134 of these, hell, if even five really important ones make it into the game, it'll make the game so much better. 
You get 10 of them. It's going to make it incredible. So let's make our voices heard and let them know. Respond to the feedback. Let them know what we want, you guys. It's in our hands right now to turn this into a better game. You want better balancing? You're tired of people rolling out of the ring in online matches over and over again? You're tired of people rage quitting online and not being penalized and you not getting ranked, even though it looks like that part's already being fixed, so I'm super happy about that, to some degree anyways. But if you want crossplay, you want community creations, you want an expanded creator wrestler, make your voice heard to them. Dubious ones, this is incredible stuff. Started here, July 2nd. Remember the name, Unsanctioned TV. You gotta love these guys. Go subscribe to them right now on YouTube. Follow them on Twitter. They do great stuff for this game, as well as, of course, Kenny Bomb. Kenny Bomb does wonderful things for this community. He has retweeted or acknowledged these tweets as well. <clears throat> this is our community. Please, Jay Barnacle's posting stuff. Like, come on now. This is our community. We want this game to be better. We need to make our voices heard. Do it. Let's do it. Anyways, previous ones, I thought this was so incredible to hear the community, the community manager for THQ Nordic, telling us, here's all the feedback we've got. Let us know what you want the most, and we will try and make it happen. So it's on us at this point. I hope this video reaches as many people as possible, and that you can share it, like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because believe it or not, I only have like 130 subscribers. I've added 30 in the past month, which has been amazing, because I was under 100 before, and now I'm just over 130. Incredible stuff. If we can get some likes on the video, comment down below. Again, anything that you want to see here, the top five things. I want to hear from you guys. I try and always respond to as many comments as I can, but that's about it. I'm running on empty. We're going to take one last look over here at the old ranks because this is what I was doing all day long on and off stream. Let's show right there. We are officially number 16 in the world on Xbox with a total of 138 and 32. I have a zero quitting. I wish they had a DNF percentage next to your name because I know they're moving your pools now. But I've played a lot of these people. Most of the people in the top 10 I've beaten many times, especially this guy here, always quitting. Look at that amazing record, five losses, probably over 60 losses. These people's records are jokes. And I would like to see them lose these 100 million points and stuff, but I'll settle for the fact that even though my rank's been reset three times because of the glitch um, that you find on Series X and PS5, if you know what I'm talking about, um, with the quick launch um, glitch, I've lost my Legend rank three times, figured out how to you know, fix the bug. I didn't get my old points back, but at least now I won't lose at these ones. So we've climbed back into the top 20, was number 5 at one point. We're at least going to get us try and get back into the eh, top 15 at least. Maybe get to the top 10. But uh, I hope this resets every, um, every season pass. But yeah, this is what I was doing all day. I was number 24 when I started the day. Now I'm number 16 online. And we've eaten quite a few losses today. I think we probably had 22, maybe 24 losses, something like that to start the day, maybe 25. I don't know. We did lose quite a few today, but we won more than we lost by a long shot. And that 138 losses, remember, that's with probably 80, 90 people quitting and it not counting for wins before they made this change right here. So I wasn't getting quit or any um, progress for any of those wins initially so again i should have i would say at least up to 200 wins right now and also i lost my whole legendary points three times so i would probably be around the top eight or nine but anyways that don't matter i still have fun playing the game and that's what matters 
And even more importantly, my daughter likes playing the game. And that's super cool because she's nine years old and it really is just pick up and play. She can mash the buttons. She kicks butt. She won her first two online matches today. She even made someone rage quit in her very first game. I was so proud. But that's a story for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This isn't a normal one for me, face cam and all, getting all the news out there. But this was, to me, was breaking news. This was important. It was really, really amazing to know that they are listening. And, I mean, we want this game to be as good as it can be. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. I hope this brought some new eyeballs to know of this tweet to make your voices heard. And again, make your voices heard down below in the comments. Dubious ones, it's been great. And it's been a great month. And I've really been enjoying this game. I hope you guys have too. And we'll catch you in the next one. I'm out for now. Later, guys.